order the June 12, 2024 meeting of the Budget Committee of the Board of Bud Education of Baltimore County. In accordance with Board Policy 8311, the chair of a committee at their discretion and after consultation with the staff liaison may convene an in-person committee meeting. Otherwise, all committee meetings will be held electronically. Today's meeting is being held virtually and broadcast through Microsoft Teams. To conduct this meeting efficiently, all voting items this afternoon will be done by a roll call vote. Board members will say their names before making and seconding, seconding a motion as as applicable, as well as when requesting discussion on an agenda item. Additionally, as a courtesy to the committee, I ask that you inform Ms. Faya if you must leave the call by using the Teams chat feature so that a quorum may be maintained. Ms. Faya, please call the roll to determine the presence of a quorum of the committee. Thank you, Ms. Salmanowski. Ms. Hen? Present. Ms. Booker Dwyer? Mr. McMillian? Here. Ms. Tomanowski? Here. Thank you. Ms. Faya, please call the role of staff members participating in today's meeting. Thank you. Mr. Hartlow? Here. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Faya. First on the agenda under new business that we will discuss is the budget committee updates template. Ms. Faya, could you please put that up on the screen? Give me one second. Okay. Thank you. Um, as you can see, this is really basic. It was mostly just so that I would remember to take notes during the meeting and write something up so we could bring back um, to the board meeting following this budget, following our budget meeting, following our budget meeting so that we, um, you know, are telling, informing our board members and the public what, what we do every, every month. So um, feel free to give me your suggestions, questions, comments changes it's I really just threw that together just to kind of have something to look at <laughs> sure go ahead I like, may I Ms. Yes. Someone ask me? Yes. thank you I, I like that it's simple it's clean it's um, I think there's beauty and simplicity um, the one suggestion I have is perhaps under key takeaways we make that even um, clearer and call it action items and include responsible, you know, action items slash responsible so that it's clear who's responsible for each action item. It, it may not always be you or it shouldn't be you um, responsible for each one. So if those are divvied out, we should list who's responsible for each one. Otherwise, I think it looks great. I like that. Thank you. I, I toyed with a bunch of different things and I was like, I don't know what else to put here. So I'm just going to put that. <laughs> but that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I like the sound of that too. It holds people responsible and it puts it right out there. Who's going to do what? Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. In that vein, no, no. do we want to do we want to add de um, deliverable dates or due dates for each one, or target dates, so that we know who's responsible and when? Now, not to say they can't move, but just to have a target date, right? Even if it's like just next meeting or, um, right? Yeah. What do you think, Mr. McMillian? Sounds good to me. Anything that will that provide a focus. Yeah. And that, you know, that gives it, anybody that looks, it gives them an idea on, on what the, who's going to do what and when to expect it or thereabout with some flexibility understood, built into that.
So I'll edit this. It's not, um, this is not Ms. Faya, so I have to, I need to find my original document, but um, unless there's anything else with that, uh, we can move on. Do we, do we need a check? I'm sorry, I keep thinking okay. of things. Do we need a checkbox um, to indicate the board action is required? That's the one anything? thing I was trying to figure out. Like, and we, feel free to interrupt. This this can be kind of like a work session where we don't have to call like each other. Um, that's what I was thinking. Like, part like when I was looking up how to do this, a lot of it would say, you know, action item or motions discussed or whatever. We don't do a lot of motions, but every once in a while one does come up. So I was trying to figure out how to put that in there. Maybe if the takeaways are in table format, we have a column. Um, to flag items that require board action, so a board vote that needs to be taken to the full board, something like that. So there's work that can be done within the committee and then work that needs to be, um, or decisions that need to be brought to the board. And maybe we flag that in that column. And it's a visual to, to help whomever is taking this to back to the board that the, that needs to be brought forward. Okay. And, and, and I don't, I don't want, you know, I don't want to see us lose the simplicity of it and the, the cleanness, but up under like meeting chair, you know, if if I think somehow and somehow we give credit to who's taking these notes. So if the meeting chair is is you know is Maggie, we put Maggie's name, but some just if we can tweak that, so anybody that looks at the, this document for whatever reason knows that. Okay, Maggie's the chair, but also Maggie constructed this this document for you know to take back to the board. Recording member or what, what instead of meeting chair, meeting or record it. What's it called when someone's the note taker? <laughs> There's a name for it, isn't there? Anybody? No, I know what you're saying, but like instead of I, we can just take out meeting chair out of it and, and just put um, recording it's, uh, minutes. The minutes. Well, it, we have separate minutes, or the video serves as the minutes, so I don't want to confuse it with the minutes. But summary, meeting summary, prepared by something like that. Okay. I see what Mr. McMillian's getting at, and I like that to have that part of the record for who prepared this document. Update prepared by. Yeah, maybe take out the, the meeting out in front of chair. And then underneath of that, what I, however we're going to describe who's who's documenting this information what how you know uh, but you can spend some little bit of time and thinking that out i guess yeah okay sounds good these are all great anything else are we going to talk about the uh, the purpose and the yes, that's of... next. Okay, good. This is new. That's old. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there, if there's nothing else here, we can we can move on to the next one. Um, is everybody good with this? Yep. Um, I, wrote, under, I wrote everything down, so I will fix that. Under next meeting, were you thinking the date or any potential agenda items? What were you thinking for for that? Um. A, a call for agenda items to go there as well or is that just I guess for could, yeah i mean i guess date? it could be either next meeting i meant the date but we could do both date and 
and agenda items? Possible agenda items or? Sure. I I like how we do that as as a full board and it might be right. efficient to do that as part of the the committee meeting and then record it here so that we have a record of it and when it comes time to prepare the agendas you you have that to refer back to as an ongoing list of potential agenda topics might streamline it somewhat yeah that's good so I, I just wrote down um, next meeting date and agenda items, but I'll I'll play with that too to make it clean it up. Um, but just lets me know that I need to work, fix that a little bit, add to it. That sound good? Sounds great. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So thank you for that. Um, next up, uh, next on the agenda, we will discuss our budget committee's purpose and measure of effectiveness. Uh, Ms. Faya, will you please pull up the updated document? Can you see it? So yeah, this is the original document that I crossed everything out <laughs> pretty much. And after, um, if you can pull up the other the other one, the, the condensed version one. This yeah, one. hold on one second. Okay. Um, after getting the feedback from the full board at, you know, the other meeting, we went, I, um, let me go back to my notes. Okay, as you can see, after getting feedback from the full board, I made several changes to the original document we worked on in our previous meeting. Um, I did look up some other, you know, board committee, board budget committee purpose and effectiveness to get some ideas of what their goals were uh, to kind of coincide with ours. Oh, sorry, I'm flipping back and forth. I'm oh, still there. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So it's. Um, is it working? There it is. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry for the pause. There it is. Oh, I know you can read it, but I'll just I'll read it out loud. Um, the budget committee reviews matters related to the Board of Education's department budget, as well as the formulation of Baltimore County Public Schools operating and capital budgets as submitted to the County Council and County Executive. So that's our main purpose. We can probably add more to that. I just I put that one in there and our measures of effectiveness are to provide monthly updates to the full board apprise board appraise board which we need to probably words with that appraise board submitted questions on proposed fiscal year budget what i mean there is um all those questions that we submit after we get the board the um the budget they just kind of go into you know our board docs and we get the answers but we never really discuss them in board meetings i think we should um, discuss those at these budget committee meetings and really you know dive into them a little bit deeper and then compare approved and actualized fiscal year budget go ahead and speak up because i need some help i just <laughs> i just sent i forwarded uh, to julie she wasn't on the original email oh uh, she wasn't no 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 wait a minute hold on Oh, sorry. The email that I received back from Jane. Oh, okay. Dated uh, May 28th. Okay. At 9.54. So what I did, Julie, was I reached out to a couple of the board members and I just said, you know, what, do you have any input? And on our purpose and measures of effectiveness, just trying to, you know, solicit information from them. And Jane wrote back, and and Jane played up the education piece for us, uh, which I think is is an important thing there. Uh, so her purpose was the budget committee allows staff to provide requested information slash education to the committee to assisting them in getting a deeper understanding of the budget process, as well as specific aspects 
slash components of the Baltimore County Public Schools operating capital budget. Uh, and I think, we, you know, whether that was what I was pleading for was just how much this has helped me. Uh, and and it, it, it would seem it would, you know, help some other people too gain a better understanding of that. Uh, so that's why she threw in the education piece. And and she said, and the and her first sentence was, if this com committee's purpose is education, then maybe we should state clearly that and the purpose. Uh, is our purpose only education, though? What's that? I don't know that that. I mean, education is definitely educating the our our public is part of it, but I don't think that's the only thing. No, 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 no. But no. it's educating us and the public. Right. You know. Um, I, I do. Yeah, I, I, I can add that one on there. I, something about that. Um, I think it's uh, it's more broad than that. Um, the budget is how our vision is actualized. And I view our role as a liaison between the full board and our fiscal staff to communicate how that, you know, communicate the vision on behalf of the board, but in a fiscal sense, right? Mm -hmm. To say, this is what we want to accomplish. Show us the, you know, what is the fiscal reality of this, right? And what, what does that look like in terms of the budget? What do we have to work with? Like, as someone asked, I really liked the report we received on fixed charges that you did because you know you've requested because it allows us to see okay these are this is what we have to work with right we we have constraints on what the board can do in terms of our resources these are the fixed charges this is um what we have within our domain or you know locus of control more or less right and and that touches education too as mr mcmillian said but at the same time, our role is more broad in terms of, you know, we need that understanding if we are going to provide input as far as our vision to say, as this is, as our budget's being developed, this is what needs to be taken into consideration. These are our goals and, and communicating that on a regular basis as it's being formulated is important. And when the budget committee was created, you know, or conceptualized, that was the primary driver of it. It was to ensure that the left hand knows what the right hand's doing and, vi and vice versa. It was, you know, to create this seamless flow here or alignment. I mean, that sounds like a lofty goal, but it's really to ensure that we are in alignment with um, staff and the superintendent on the development of the, the budget. Um, under purpose, the one thing that concerns me with this wording is the departmental budget. That is such a, a drop in the bucket in terms of what our concerns are. The board's, the board office budget, if that's what that refers to, okay, is a penny in, you know, our multiple billion dollar budget. I don't think it should even be in here. Um, our concerns are the operating capital budgets, period. I would take that, you know, strike that. Okay. I, I don't want us to get... We need we need to focus on the the big rocks here and not the depart the board office departmental budget that that's handled through other channels um, by the board office by Ms. Gover and um, by board officers. So I don't okay. think that's the purpose of the budget committee. So education as well as um, our governance in the formulation of of those two budgets and well, ensuring really, and that board priorities are um, represented. And just kind of go, Mr. Mayor, you always say that, you know, this is supposed to be the board's budget, but we really don't have any say in it other than it's given to us and then we comment on it afterwards. So I think that we need to have a bigger, you know, role in, helping guide the way our budget should 
you know, be focused. We always say it's the people, and I still think it's about the people, but, um, you know, we don't really have a say in it or talk about it until it, it's given to us. I think. I, it, go ahead. I'd really like that clarified myself. Yeah. Uh, and, and here's just a thought. We're, is this committee is on thin ice. And it could easily be voted down or I, it, it, it seems to me that at some point in time, there's going to become a vote on whether this committee and other committees, you know, whether some of them continue or not. So I think that we've got to be, you know, we've got to be thinking about when we write this, pulling in votes, <laughs> you know, we're going to need six votes to keep it, I guess, six. You know, whether that I don't know how that would work technically, but we've got to appeal to, you know, to, to get board members, you know, with us on board with us to continue this to go. If, if they read this and it's and it's too broad or it's too specific or whatever, you know, and that alienates them, then we've lost the support. Uh, so I think that this, this, and this is going to be the way I think that we we sell it to the board members to continue this, this committee going. Because it certainly appears that the handwriting is on the wall that, that you know, this committee, it, 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 you know, there's people out there that don't want this committee to continue. Uh, so we've got to be, you know, ready to back it up on why we want to continue it or why we think it needs to continue. So just well, my opinions. You both have made excellent points about this being our budget and the role of the board as the governing officers of the school system and elected members were elected to represent our constituencies, the public we represent, and they elected us to do a job. And that job is to, to develop the bu a budget that is in the best interest of the school system, but that also reflects you know, the public's best interests. We are their voice in this process. And if our voices are silenced, theirs are. We we represent them. And what this committee serves is that direct voice in this process, because after the fact is not sufficient. We need a year round voice in this process in the formulation of it. It's it's not us saying this, it's statute that says this is the board's budget. The board develops a budget with the superintendent. And and that's what this committee needs to to do in order to do its job. And we need to we need a stronger purpose statement that that makes that very clear as um Mr. McMillian and, stated. And that's, maybe that's we, our reason for being. And maybe we law. reference that document if it's a statute, if it's policy, Wherever, you know, you know, I've just had people say to me over, over the years that it's our budget. Okay, where's that coming from? Is that in writing that it is that policy? Is that a statute? We reference that. And that's if we if if we document and say, here it is. To me, that's the that justifies the committee right there. It absolutely is in statute. And I'll we can put it in this um, document. In purpose, let's cite the statute. It's in the board handbook. We have the three primary responsibilities, and one is to develop the budget. And I another is to provide schools. There, there are three, and they're all outlined in statute. That's what I was getting to, and I'm sorry, I I hit leave by accident, and I missed a little bit of it, but I came right back. <laughs> but um, that was what I was getting to. I'm like, we need and I, to put in the purpose is like. If we are, we need to state precisely or find get a, a final. Is it the board's budget or is it the superintendent's budget? Because if, if it's the board budget, board's budget as stated in the handbook, then yes, we absolutely need to have this committee, and that should be the defining the main purpose. It is, and it goes beyond the handbook because it's the handbook's driven by statute, and okay. it's one of three responsibility one of three statutory obligations of the board. I can get you you both that. That'd be great. Okay. 
and and then you know we continue to educate board members on on the building or development or whatever the whole you know the process or we so we use that statute and then come back and say well okay you know we we don't feel like we have enough knowledge for this so here's how we're going to you know educate inform whatever you know the board members so that we continue to develop our understanding of the of the process and and are involved in the process something you know we I th- and I think that's the key right there. Mm-hmm. Because if, if people, you know, there's 12 of us, and if and if that's specifically in quotes on, you know, and we document on page such and such, a handbook page six or eight or X or whatever it is, and, you know, our responsibilities. And this is how, okay, if these are our responsibilities, these are, this is how we're going to fulfill these responsibilities. So... So I, I appreciate the the kicking around ideas here. So the only other thing that will come back to us is that well, if it's the board's budget, then we should be discussing this in full board. My saying with that is that we can never get into detail as we do as much detail as we do during committee meetings as we can in the full board, and even if people aren't viewing this when we have it, it's recorded for anybody to watch whenever they need to to reference. So it's always there. And that's why I feel it's very important to continue with this committee because, I mean, just for that reason alone, I mean, we're, we're never going, it, the time allotment for during a, a board meeting, you get two minutes to ask questions. We have much more time and, um, you know, free, rain, free, you know, we can talk to each other in a more relaxed setting and, and get to the bottom of things or just more in depth is what, and 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 right with what you, we don't have enough time right to discuss our topics and I'll give you a classic example is the adequate uh, public facilities legislation we hadn't heard anything in weeks and then the you know the lawyer yesterday gives us a couple minutes and closed on that yeah. y- you know we so we don't have time to that right uh, so the, the argument back when you know the whole board should do this we don't have a, enough time for that look at the equity piece that we did. And I kept saying, if we don't use this, we don't put this to use. We haven't touched it. We haven't, you know, what have we done with it since we went through those meetings with Mr. Handy? You know, I, yeah, it's, so we've got to, I think the committees are the, do the dirty work or do, you know, dig deep or dive, whatever you want to say. And then, and bring, and that's how we defend it. We're going to bring it back with these updates, with that paper that you constructed. The, the work happens in committee. And as long as we're not making decisions that circumvent, well, we can't make decisions on behalf of the full board in committee. And that's why, you know, the committee does that legwork and brings the recommendations to, it's just how our other committees function. We do the legwork, bring the recommendation forward to the full board and they act on it. Um, That's how we, we get things done because there isn't enough time to do the deep dive as Mr. McMillian said. Um, that needs to be done. And certainly not on an almost $3 billion budget. (laughs) Right. So the main things I have adding for the purpose are stating that, you know, the budget is the responsibility of the board and and kind of formulating that statute under that statute. Also um, adding in that we are a liaison, a facilitator between the full board and the superintendent in you know, coming up with a budget that reflects what we all see, our our vision, the total vision of BCPS. Um, Strike out the departmental budget, focus on the operating and capital and um, measures of effectiveness. We haven't gotten there yet. I guess we're still on purpose. Okay, anything else that I'm missing for that? Oh, the education, educating the public, keeping, you know, basically uh, informing the public of, you know, what's go the, how much goes into building the budget, um, the thought processes, the, the, the reasoning behind it, you know, based things like that. I mean, I'm going to condense it down, but that's what 
educating the public about is about telling them, you know, just how much is in this budget, as whether it's, you know, the fixed um, the fixed items that we, we have to work in and the other things that we get contract wise or whatever comes along, but just kind of building the budget and showing it to educating the public about just how much everything, everything that goes into it. Yes. And, and during, <laughs> during the formulation. So we right. may want to consider striking the last um, part of the, the purpose that states as submitted to the county council and county executive, we don't want to come in to the process right. at the, the very end. So we may want to rework that or strike that entirely. Um, okay. Because that was that's a really bad purpose though. statement that I wrote, and we'll just strike the whole thing out. No. <laughs> <laughs> what you're no. saying. That's okay. I can take criticism. <laughs> so I no, need your help. No, I will, you know what I I'm will, saying. I will, I, yeah, I see what you're saying. Take that out. Add, uh, add to it. Add to it. Rewrite it. And and I think it's critical that we put something about our knowledge of it. I, you know, the, our education, our uh, uh, knowledge base related to the budget. I've learned so much, you know, from this. And and so what we, we you know, it makes us, to me, better board members if we understand this piece of it. So how would you phrase that? Just trying to think. Um educating ourselves would that go under the education piece mr mcmillian can you hear me uh, yeah and i'm, I'm just I, uh, I know <laughs> um but if we could just you know it's such an overwhelming when you know you talk about two three billion dollars you know, that we're average people. We don't have a grip on that, or at least I don't. And I imagine there's some other people that don't too. And so if we can continue to, you know, you know, the, somehow continue to educate us along with the public or something, but just keep building on that so that we have a thorough, you know, leading to a thorough understanding of the budget process. If we're more, you know, it just makes sense. If we're more committed to the to the process and we understand it better, then we're going to be more knowledgeable or whatever when it comes to voting for it. Correct. So. Something along the educating ourselves, enriching our own knowledge to lead to a thorough understanding of the budget process or development all of it formulation just period support supports the board's continuous professional development okay fiscal professional development so so what's going to happen so we you know really since the committees have become a hot topic we haven't talked a whole lot about them so if the committees are going to kick in July 1st, we've got one more meeting to to talk about before, you know, the, we, it, this comes to a vote or it doesn't come to a vote or whatever. I don't even think it can uh, come to a vote next. The one on the 25th, because it's just um, a virtual meeting. Is that yeah. basically, that's the meeting that has to do basically with administrative positions? Yes. That's, a, that's what I'm a, I mean, I think she said that at the July meeting, that's when the 12th. So I guess officially, I mean, we'll, I guess officially we'll be July 1st, but without knowing. But even though our meeting is July 9th, we'll have to get clarification on that. Well, did we have committee updates last night? Did that get postponed? It got postponed. Or did it get pushed to July? It got postponed till July 9th. So clarification on committee assignments. Now, 
Am I is my understanding correct? They just can't, you know, put a line through this committee and just do away with it. We have to discuss this, correct? If we discussed it and voted on it twice before, don't correct. we have to have a motion and vote on it now? We, we don't. Have a, we don't have to. No, I'm not talking to. about here, but I'm talking oh, about the board. The board. Yes. If someone wanted to get rid of it, or they would have to have a motion. Okay, so the mo let's let's suppose that the motion is, and I understand I'm talking on public, and, and I, I'm I'm talking. I don't I'm, I understand that anybody could be listening to this, and that doesn't bother me. What I'm We're saying. We're just supposing. Right. Hypothetically. So, if, We're hypothetically. If, if there was a motion that was made to abolish the budget committee, and after it had been voted in, would they need seven votes to abolish that? We'd have to talk to board council and, yes. and get a I and get an official statement. I consulted board council and yes. As any other them. motion, it would require seven votes. So with six votes, then it stays in. Correct. Would that what if we didn't have a full board? Like a full board, would it just take a quorum or does it have to be seven votes? It's got to be one. seven. Yeah, Has because be that's the that's the piece where it goes back to when when Roger passed away, the state ruled that it had to be we were board of 12. Therefore, we had to have seven votes. Yep. Even Correct. with a, an individual having passed away, we couldn't go by six votes. So th they you know, that's where the joke was. Six is greater than five. <laughs> but in that case, it, it, you know, you needed seven. OK. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. <laughs> um, I guess I should, but um, I think we, I, all right, let's go on to uh, measures of effectiveness. Anyone? Is there another um, verb instead of a praise that you were? Yes, I don't like of? that word either. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of stumbled on it when you were reading it, and yeah. I, I did the same. So, like, is it review or is it evaluate? Evaluate. Everyone gets really, you know, funky about words. Evaluate to some people means something to somebody else. Um, I mean, I just. I know, just given the respect and light that they deserve as opposed to just kind of. I don't think the public really looks at those as much. Even discuss. Discuss. That's a good idea. Do we have um, do we have public comment for the budget too? We should, should probably do, do those too. So board submitted and public. Board we and do. We we have the public input hearings. You mean written submitted feedback? Yes. On the budget? Um, yes. We get some email, not. I just don't know that I've ever seen a lot. Have we, have we ever seen the answers or the? We get some summaries from the surveys right. that that have been sent out. And the the Southeast Advisory Council talks a lot about the budget in the fall. They do. Right. Yep. Every every area advisory holds a budget um, meeting in the fall. Which should that should be um, on here? That that this committee should review the advisory, okay. the notes from each advisory budget meeting when they're submitted in the fall. They're all like what the October meeting, isn't it, Mr. McMillian? I, I think it's I the think October it is, meeting. and the Southeast tries to schedule speakers revolving around those topics to. You know, so the public has a, a 
better understanding of that. It's the one the one um, meeting that's mandated for each um, area advisor each year. So it's, it's is, it just called a, is it just called a budget meeting or? It's the, the annual budget meeting. Mm -hmm. And what's that tell you if all the advisories have that responsibility? There you it go. It shows me how important this is. Right. And they're our advisors, so to the board. And sometimes we're criticized for not listening to them enough, too. We are. Is that on? Yeah. On the first bullet, would you consider yeah. removing monthly updates with yeah. brief written summaries? Yes. Provide brief written summaries to the full board. Yeah. Some people like their specifics. I like that better. Provide. Okay. I think the thought behind the monthly updates were um, the up the committee updates yeah. portion of the board meetings when every committee provides an update. Yep. I think we should do both. Or brief written updates. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. it can be bought. Yep. Um, when appropriate. To, to, instead of summaries, use the word update if you want. Right. Provide brief written updates to full board when appropriate, or just to the full board period. I'd leave to the full board. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Sorry. Sorry, this is why I do this at the office. Um, <laughs> like, all right, the, anything the, else? The third bullet, just um, a okay. typo to um, make budgets space. plural a lot, plural. Compare approved and actually fiscal year budgets. Yes, and I think I have an extra space in there. Meeting topics. Anything else you want to add there? Or any... Take out. Not word. for me, but not for me. I would replace the quarterly budget line transfers with any proposed bats. Okay. If those aren't here. All proposed bud bat budget. Is that just same as saying? The um the public works report recommended more frequent bats as needed okay. instead of larger bats. So that's something well that that's a very specific follow up item, but if there are more frequent um smaller bats, then the committee would be reviewing that more frequently than the large bat or two large bats each year. So, so I would put semi annual Semi-annual. Mm -hmm. Approved versus actual. I don't know that the APFO's task force recommendations and implementation will be needed here or okay. apply to the budget committee. But what what were your thoughts on that? I think it was just something that we had talked about and I may have, I think I, and actually I think I, I talked to uh, Mr. Hartlove about this and it wasn't something that he was, it wasn't part of the budget and I just hadn't taken it off yet. So that okay. can be taken off, yeah.
And then one of the goals um, that was in the prior version of this document was to benchmark um, the board's budget against other state LEAs. Okay. And also any guidance from the state in terms of fiscal guidance. I don't have anything specific in mind as far as that. Um, blueprint might be in an area that's a, a larger topic or umbrella topic. Yeah. That encompasses a number of things. Number of things. Um, blueprint. Blueprint and, change and um, blueprint changes, maybe legislative changes that affect the budget that that would in, you know include blueprint, but any other yeah. legislative changes so, that have like, a fiscal impact. Because usually there are um, several, you know, right. varying in degree of impact after each session. Blueprint effects Slide on. Blue slash legislative um, right. impacts, and then benchmarking. And it wouldn't necessarily need to be against other Maryland LEAs, although we have the same legal requirements, um, especially as it relates to Blueprint. Um, so, it's usually most relevant to to compare BTPS to other in-state systems. So benchmark when you could try to benchmark in terms of spend and look at trends with other LEA spend, particularly. And cost of goods and services. How would try try that again? That I'm trying to write that down in like in a concise way that makes sense. Um, you're saying I, like I would just say I would just say fiscal benchmarking. And, Can you please let the dogs in? The other topic I'd like a presentation on because we we didn't see any details um, this past budget cycle is on the zero based budgeting activity. And what those deltas look like at a department level. So when the department level um, budgets are shared, I'd like to see a presentation on um, those changes, either as a result of the um, zero-based budgeting, the the most significant changes as a result of that. Zero-based budgeting at the department level. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, anything else? Well, if we wanted to be more general, um, to have this apply each year, it would be year over year. Um, budget changes. So we talked about um, comparing the approved and actualized fiscal year right. budgets, but also um, last year compared to this year, each year um, between the actual and board proposed or superintendents proposed. Usually that's captured very well in the notes. Mm -hmm. 
but it would be helpful um, to discuss that in committee. That way, if uh, board members or the committee ha members have any questions. So compare year over year actualized budget. Year over year, last year's actual to um, right. next year's proposed. Okay. Past actualized. To next proposed. Okay, got that. Mr. Hartlove, you've been very quiet. Well, I, I, I'm, I am listening. <laughs> I'm listening intently, um, but I don't. It's not. This is really board work. Right. So, I know. I just. Oh, yeah. well, you can chime in if we're like, if you want to say we can't do that or that's a no, great no, no, no. Well, because this is you know this is this is uh, yeah this is and I know this is uh, at a very high level. So you know uh, whether we can get into specific things or not, you know, we can certainly discuss that when at future meetings, what we can and can't do, you know, what the expectations are behind each one of these items. But but yes. no, I'm I'm good with the the general uh, discussions of these items. Okay. Thank you. And and that's what we gotta be careful if if it appears that we're going too deep into weeds. There's going to be some people that say, you know, point that out, and that could be a reason for not, not, you know, uh, supporting the continuance of this committee. Right. That uh, will be taking the staff away from doing other things. Yeah. So we should aim for having each meeting last, you know, no longer than an hour. So, like we're we're coming up on that right now. I mean, an hour and a half tops. If something like especially during budget season but to also be mindful of their time and anything that we ask for during the budget would be something that they're already working on and we're just kind of reviewing it so they don't have to do any extra work yes and yes. and along with that is is staying true to the budget understanding the budget process and not if we go off track and and ask something else then then that's when it's going to be thrown up to us well that you know that's not you know that's not pertinent to this topic or whatever we can't be sending people down to you know that uh, and a blind alley asking okay. for information it's not specific specific to this and i know that that's that's real broad what i'm stating but you know, people are going to look for any, and you know, and they're going to look for any reason to cancel us out. Uh, so. No, I appreciate that. I understand that. Um, I am going to work on this again. I have a lot of notes here. And if anybody wants to, you know, put them thoughts in writing and email it to me, that would be helpful too. And, um, the other thing I wanted to talk, discuss is what would you like to do for um, what are topics we would like to talk about for our next meeting? Which I'd have to look at the calendar to see when that is. <laughs> like, and, and here's do we meet in the summer? No, we, your next meeting is September 11th. Thank you. OK, so I think that's a good idea. Would it be possible to um, have a very brief meeting just to finalize this document? Sure. Yeah, we probably do need to. Yeah, take a quick vote and approve it. We probably need to do it before the July 9th one, too. Yes. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Just quick, like. Just quick. 10 minutes. I'll, I'll send everything out way ahead of a time. Um, so we'll yep. just. Okay. And nah. it, it's, it, is there any way to go back? I'm curious. Is there any way to go back and check? Miss Faya might have this. Do you have the attendance, Miss Faya, of of uh, 
who you know who attended these meetings over the course of the, how difficult would that be to or when, is that when you say you who do you mean do you mean people from Baltimore County presenting no or do you mean people who watched it <laughs> no board members member who board attend? members uh, members of the committee who actually the attendance of the board members Oh, attendance as a board member. Yes, I would have that. I don't have it at my fingertips right now, but I yes, I do have it. Is that a difficult? Is that is that too much of a of an ask? Right this moment? No, 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 no. I mean, you know, before we July nine. Before... Yeah. I'm to just get... curious of the because to you get... know something else. Are you know, Tracy you... takes our attendance. Mister Mister uh, McMillian, are you just talking yeah. about like last year? Over the past yeah, year. Yeah, just this yeah, just this I think we, school year. Yeah, we can do yeah. that. Yeah, I, we that's do. easy, yeah. That's not hard. Because I think that would be an interesting read. I'd like to see that also. Okay. Thanks, Miss Faya. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank because you. that, You're that we I might be able to draw on that. To def, you know, fend the the continuance of this committee. Even, thank you. So, if I'm looking at my calendar right now, uh, there's an oil the oil arguments arguments on the 24th, and then the virtual meeting on the 25th. I don't know the the meetings for the other committees. Um, if we try to do this before at the at the end of this month, like the 26th or 27th, could you guys look at your calendars and let me know? And Mr. Hart, I don't I mean, I don't know. We, we probably just miss Faye. I will need you, but I don't know. I mean, we just have to vote on it, right? Anybody there? Hello. I might be out of town at last week of June. I might, but uh, wherever I am, if I get service, I'll certainly, certainly uh, tune in. Yeah. What? What? Could you repeat the dates? I, I mean, it doesn't have to be that. I, I can do it. We can do it next week if that's easier or better for everybody. But I was just looking at the calendar. And I mean, mine, the step, I'm going to be in and out of town too that next week, but I can pick, I can stop and find a time almost probably the 19th, 20th, or the 21st, or the 26th, 27th, or the 28th. Yeah, and I, I'm not an expert on this, but I do believe they have to be because it's a public meeting. Right. It they has to be, to be public. No, no, I, I know it has to be public, which is why the, Probably the earliest right. time you could do is the 19th because that's a week away. Yeah, I don't know exactly how long it has to be, you know, uh, notices be, has to be up there, but there's some period of time it has to be posted. Right. Well, you want to. If you guys can look wanted, at our calendars and let me know. I could do the, oh, the 19th is Juneteenth. Um, oh. But the following week is better for me unless the only dates that, that work or the 20th or 21st. I'm going to be out of town, but I can dial in if need be. The 20th or 21st. Okay. I'm back was, on the 24th. I, I was going to throw out the 20th. Today's the 12th. If we talk to Mrs. Stifler tomorrow and see if that week, tomorrow's the 13th, if the 20th gives us that week. When will you be traveling, Miss Julie? Miss Hen, will you be traveling all day or on the twentieth? I'll, I'll be in the car the the twentieth, so I can call in from from there on the twentieth if need be. Anytime on the twentieth, um, I'll make it work. Because I I'll be driving on the nineteenth, but I'll be where I'm. I'll be there on the twentieth, and then I'm I'm pretty much out of town for a while. But so it doesn't matter to me. Um, that, and how about I mean, the, the morning of the, does the morning of the 20th work? Yeah, definitely. For everyone? 
Does that morning okay. on the 20th work for you, Mr. McMillian? Yeah, I got something at 10 o'clock. Could we do it before or after? Yeah, yeah I could do before. You want to do 9 a.m. or 8.30? It would only, Eight. it's only, huh? How about 8.30? Sure, I can do 8.30. Julie? That works. Yep, perfect. Oh, Miss Faya? <laughs> On the 20th? Yes. Yes, that should be fine. 8.30. I can present, I mean, if it, if it, it uh, we're just going to be voting on it. I'll, I'll have everything on to you, give everything to you, and we're just going to, pat like, just vote on it and then be done, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and then we double check with Miss. Yeah, we'll have to make, confirm that we can do that. Yes, Miss Miss Stifler. Perfect. Okay. Well, if there is nothing else. Great. Thank you. Again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great evening. This meeting is okay. adjourned. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.